bottom line, we are kicking this off from the Isle of Murata. We're on a little uh, work vacation, and uh, we're going to basically crank it out. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 290, Nasdaq up 300, S and P's up 64, gold contract down a dollar 90, trading at 17.86 an ounce. We get silver off 28 cents, 22 dollars 82 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 12, 69 dollars 27 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note right now uh, up two ticks, trading at uh, one at uh, 131.03. 30 year up 25 at 162.03 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 210 ticks, trading out at 96.298. The Euro is at 112. The Yen is at 113.5. And, and the British Pound is trading at 133 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so the Wednesday, uh, Friday, rather. Uh, after Thanksgiving, bottom line, market goes south, monster volume, breaks a swing point, breaks it with volume. SPY out here today is up $6.70. What we have is the window dressing happening. I do expect that what you're going to see is this, is that we're going to try to go for this high once again. You're at 465.72. Now, the kicker here is that we've already had three separate warnings, folks, actually four separate warnings in the last six months that this market wants to lower price. Each one of them has rejected lower price and goes higher. And depending on how long you've been listening to me, you know, many times I've told you, the market gives everyone many, at least three times to get out. That's what it seems to me. So looking at this, I'm saying to myself, okay, man, this is going to throw this into a consolidation. It's not the end of the world. That being said, let's go over to the queues because the queues took back everything it had given up. So if we take a look at the Qs, what you're going to see with the Qs, the Qs are up eight and a half dollars, eight dollars and eighty cents. Qs are go down with fifty-one million, which was in three point. Let's see, nine to ten to eleven. Yeah, three three and a half hours, and we're going up in six and a half hours at thirty-seven million. So you can see how that's shaking out. Bottom line, I do expect what you're going to see is that the Qs are also going to try to get to the high. If we get to the highs and you have lighter volume. Excuse me, bottom line, I expect that this is another indice that wants to consolidate. Now, when I'm talking about the consolidation, I'm talking about the bottom of the consolidation being October 4th. So that's 350. That's a long way down from where the Qs are right now. But I suspect that's exactly how this baby's shaking out. And we'll see. We'll see after we get to the highs. Right now, bottom line, the market wants highs. Gold. Gold contract out here, bottom line. What you had on Friday, gold traded higher gave it up on price we traded up to 1819 you closed out friday at 1788 you get 139,000 contracts right now you going sideways golds have to gonna have to build costs that's the bottom line you're back to the breakout area from the 5th of november you you got to build costs to get the higher price silver we're going to take a look at the silver market out here what do you have with the silver market bottom line silver market's down 28 cents we're trading out of the price point of 2282 and let's see what we have here. So silver is going to the highs of the lows of the last leg down. So 22.73 we hit today. 22.56 is actually the highs of the lows. And it looks like it's going to hit that number. Now, notes and bonds. This is where this gets really interesting. And this is why. You know, so you figure the whole world is saying, okay, we got to go up on rates. Well, you know what? The market, you can see how fast in a half a day how fast the market goes into bonds. I mean, this was an extraordinary move. You take a look at the 10-year or the 30, it doesn't matter which one you go to, the, the buy-in is astronomical. What will also happen is this. Because of the way that the volatility came in the marketplace, what we will see, there'll be a lot of folks flat out that just wanna buy bonds, a lot of folks that are basically gonna tighten up their portfolios because the, a lot of folks are gonna be saying, hey man, the bottom line, we've been going up for a long period of time. And I suspect we're going to be either have a correction, be in a consolidation, all of the above. If we take a look at the 10-year right now, the 10-year is yielding 1.51. And we go to the good old U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar. What you're going to see out here, dollar on Friday came down hard. Uh, the dollar is not holding price today. Well, we're up 191 ticks, but the reality is that we went to 96,445. We're at 96,281. I expect the dollar is going to probably come into lower price, and we'll see – 
uh, if in fact it actually wants to tra- change its trend. The dollar hit 96, 938, and 90, 90, the 97 mark was where those swing points were. If we go take a look at the GDX and we take a look at some of these gold equities, what you're going to see here is that the GDX on Friday rejected lower price. It had lighter volume. It was going into strength. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see how this baby's shaking out. Um, it, it was it wasn't impressive, but it was it, what I mean by that inside the gold and the silver equities, folks. Is that normally when you get a down day that the that, that the Dow's down a thousand points, eleven hundred points, the bottom line is they normally throw everything out. The good babies, the bad babies, all of the above. Well, they didn't do it this time. That is a, a monster deal. What's also happening is that any of the equities that you see that didn't go down on Friday, you want to pay attention to. Why? Because the bottom line is that that is showing strength inside of the marketplace. If we go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today, you got uh, Apple's up 391. That's trading a buck 60. You got Twitter down a buck. We got uh, Carnival Corporation uh, up 15 cents. Advanced Micro, that's a big move, up 684. You got Nvidia up 16 dollars at 331. That being said, yeah, the high Nvidia is up there somewhere about the uh, 360 mark, I believe. Uh, Merck is down 476. We have. Uh, Let's go over it. We'll take a look at Amazon. Amazon on Friday, which was just – it's pretty amazing, actually, that Amazon wasn't smoke with the rest of the market on Friday. You had wide price spread. There's no doubt about that. We went from 3600 to 3500 to close the 3504 But that being said, that shows quite a bit uh, in Amazon. Uh, what you also had – you had the pot stocks. Uh, they held up, and then all of a sudden they're, they're selling off today. Um, it was impressive how they held up, but I don't like what's happening out here today with them. Uh, today, what's going on is that they're at 11. Uh, canopy's at 11, 11. It is breaking a swing. I was breaking it with light volume, but it is breaking. There, right there, folks. Come right back. I'm Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 316. Nasdaq's up 328. S&P's are up 69. Come. 